So on to measuring two-point perspective inclines. Not all that much different than one-point perspective inclines. It's just the same type of rules. So you have your auxiliary vanishing point is going to be above the left vanishing point or below the left vanishing point. Or it's going to be above the right vanishing point or below the right vanishing point. So that is kind of like the first big hurdle to get by is figuring out where it's at. Above, below, on the left side, on the right side. And that takes a little practice. And we talked about that in a previous video not too long ago about how to kind of some little tricks to figure out where they are. So here's how, um, let's do, let's do 30 degree inclines because that stays nice and close. So here's, if, I, if it's on the left side, <clears throat> then I get the true angles from the left measuring point. So this will be my auxiliary vanishing point here. And then we need a line straight across from that. And this is our auxiliary horizon line. And then to get our measuring point, you take the distance from the vanishing point to this measuring point. And you project that up and you get your auxiliary measuring point. So this measures lines that go here. So I have a line, let's make a, a line that goes along the floor. And then if I have a line that's 30 degrees, a 30 degree incline, it's going to head up here and there's my 30 degrees in perspective. And let's make that, um, I don't know, let's see. Here's zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. And if we head up to this auxiliary measuring point, that makes this seven. If I wanted to make the line down below it also seven, then I would use the measuring point that belongs to this vanishing point. So it's going to look like that. There's seven. So we can make this into a, like a three dimensional object by Drawing a line to this right vanishing point, let's make it one, two, three, let's make it four deep. Go to that measuring point, there's four. Hit this up to that auxiliary vanishing point. And there, we could put a like, little hinge here. Make this into a door. Like, like a cellar door, I guess. So when this thing closes, it's gonna close exactly on top of this. It should, if I dropped a line straight down, because of the things we you know talked about in the other videos, if I have a line that is straight across like that, let's see if we can make it a specific length. Okay, there's one and a half right there. And then we make a 30 degree angle from that. This is like a elevation view from the side. And then measure this. 1.5, see these two are now the same. If I dropped a line straight down from there, you can see it's like inside of it just a little bit. It can't be hanging over the edge. This is a piece of that circle. So if I dropped a line from this one that I drew straight down, you could see it like it's inside just a little bit. So you know, if it goes over, then you did something wrong somewhere. And if it's a lot shorter, 
if you dropped a line straight down and it was a lot shorter, then you also know you did something wrong. So it's a, a good way to you know, check it to see if it's, um, you know, it, if it's um, not too far, too far afield. Okay, so that is, um, then if, if I did one for the other side, let's see if we got my, maybe I have time for that. Maybe we'll make it go like a different, different direction. So we're gonna make it over here. Let's make it go down. So this is, make this below the, the right vanishing point. So here's our right measuring point. So we'll, let's do that 30 degrees again. So here is our auxiliary vanishing point. And then straight across from that is our auxiliary horizon line. And then we take this distance. Here's our auxiliary measuring point. Here is a line that's going along the floor. And we'll make this one, let's make their zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make it six. So this is six. If I draw a line down to this point down below, this is a 30 degree angle between those two. I should maybe make this thing into a three dimensional shape. You could see it better. Here's just a random rectangle along sitting on the floor. And here's the hinge. And if I want, if I want this line to be the same length as this one, then here is, here's my measuring point over here. And there's zero and here's six, six. Go to the measuring point. And that's six. So this would be, I know, like a, this is going along the floor. This is flat. And this is going down into the ground at a 30 degree angle. And they're both six. So we could do some more of these, maybe a few more um, practice ones because these, I drew this one touching the, the measuring line and I drew this one touching the measuring line also. So let's, we did, we talked about this, uh, drawing some inclines that don't touch the measuring line in one point perspective. So let's do uh, something a little more um, interesting on the next one and we'll draw some inclines uh, that are maybe going up and down and that are not touching the picture plane.